And considering now that we're in a desert, it's no surprise. Anyway, we are back with more of Planet Robobot. Last time we tackled Area 3, Overdrive Ocean, I think. And now we move on to Area 4, Gigabyte Grounds. So, let's get started. We're now beginning Area Act 1. I can't even tell if it's Act 1 or Area 1. I don't really know for sure, because now we're in a desert. Now things are going to get a little rough on the edges. Hey, I don't mind it. And this one gives us Whip Kirby, and for some odd reason, I'm thinking Harrison Jones with it. Or rather, Indiana Jones from the looks of things. And it has a charge base attack. Like so. I like that, honestly. Yeah, I've missed out on a lot of other Kirby games, to tell you the truth. And yeah, so I have little idea of some of the other powers are. But hey, playing them for myself makes it all the more interesting. And Dr. Zen, unfortunately, he's in no mood to play. Yeah, you get whacked. Buzz off. Jeez, these guys are persistent, I tell you. Oh, wait. I forgot, the whip can actually do that. Grab items from areas you can't access. That makes it fun. But that is not fun. Not fun considering I gotta avoid all these. Ow. I can't lose this. All right, continue as normal. Good. Where'd he come from? Buzz off. Ah, sticker. That makes it interesting. I don't see anything else out of the ordinary here. So yeah, let's press onwards. Or is it because of the fact that there's something I'm missing? Either way, guess I'll have to find that out for myself. Wait, is there a way I can just bash these things? Fine, let's go fight her for a little while. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need a bot. So far, it's been leading me nowhere. Yup, I need a robot so that way I can be able to beat these things down. Yeah, I'm actually doing really lame. There's the bot. And there's the battery that we need to get our hands for the code cube. Now I start shredding. And that's gonna be needed. Why? For later. You'll see. All right, good. Now that we've opened the way, it's time to get to work. Sweet. And like I said, there was a reason why I had to keep those platforms intact. Why? So that way I don't have to make a stupid mistake. And there you go. And I thought I was like lost or something. All right, so we have the first code cube. A good way to start things off. Very good. Ow! Stop that! Or does this mean exactly that I need to get a different power for this? Whatever. Let's move on.
Jumping here. Fine, let's switch it up. Figure using that would be best. Ow. Nice, the charge blast can do us nicely. Wait, why did I... Yeah, that's a red one right there. Yup, this could lead me to the second one. Now this is tricky. Or rather have it be a joke. Why, oh, why did I do that? Nice! We got the second one, and avoided all that trouble. Thank you! But still, it's actually one of these games where you actually can know what the heck you're supposed to do. But if you play the game enough, you pretty much can figure out the rest. Hey, the doctor's in session. I'll be needing that. Thank you. Ow. Alright. Doing good. And unfortunately for us... Yeah, this happens. Fine, I'll stick with the whip. Ow. Painful much. Okay, good. Got an extra life, so that's a relief. And that's the source of our problems. Avoided that without much difficulty. Oops. Yeah, buzz off. Still going, but where is it all leading me? Wait a minute. Aren't I supposed to need something for this first? Yeah, I can tell. We need something. And as I thought, I was right. Looks like we'll have to go back and get it. Yeah, my gun already told me that I'm missing something, but unless I get it, there's no way I'll be able to reach it. But at least the rare sticker makes up for it. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. Now let's get a bit serious here. And bring out the stone cold fist that we like using so much. Yes, yeah, sending it upwards. Here, eat this. Thanks. Now do me a favor and let me get my third coat in, okay? Good. Thank you. All code cubes collected for area four. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Yeah, you got charge shotted. And the first area actually took me like nine minutes to do. Mostly because I forgot about the third code. Nice, nice. Sweet, we actually made it. Booyah! Now let's see what we got. We got Wildy Ball from Canvas Curse, a Kind Block from Star Stacker, a rare Meta Knight Icon. Ooh, that's awesome. And we also got Kirby on the phone from Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. God, I'm missing out on all these Kirby games. I do have Amazing Mirror on my 3DS. Maybe I should play it sometime. Okay, next area. Area 2, we must be heading now to a factory. Let's go. And don't mind me. Now, all right, now we got it. 
That's more like it. Now that I have the Jack Kirby, fortunately, I should be able to do this now. And sadly, nada! Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. And, uh, oh my god. Sorry, I'm being melodramatic, but still. This is what I get for doing this at, like, 1, like, 2 in the morning. Yeah, it does suck that you're doing it at 2 in the morning, knowing full well that after that, you gotta get a good night's sleep. What can you do, to tell you the truth? Alright, now let's move onwards. And at least now with Jack Kirby, I can have some kind of advantage. Nice. And we got ourselves the first Code Cube. That was easy enough. Though these poison clouds do not help matters. If only there was a way you can get rid of them completely. That would make it easier. And this next one's just about to get a bit challenging. As much as I like having Jack Kirby around, I'll have to change powers. Ah, comrade, nice of you to drop by. Your help. Now let's bash this thing with bombs. And sadly, you're not doing much. Ow. Thanks. Now let's take advantage of poison. And maybe this time around we can look around and see if we'll find anything that we missed. Okay, that's a start. At least we get the sticker out of it, so that's good. What? I got whacked by something? Oy vey! I dislike that, honestly. Oh yeah, you use this to take down the enemies from above. Hells make it easier. But it's still, ca I can't excuse myself for figuring out just what the heck I'm supposed to do. I do know this right there. Hmm, there's gotta be at least a way I can figure this out and solve it. And I know where this is gonna lead me. Yep. And now by this point, I should be able to get this in. Code cube number two. Yeah, knew we were missing something. All right, now it's bot time. Now we can be able to do this in style. Let's go stone cold on these punks. And we're gonna need this. Although in truth, this is what we really need. Parasol Kirby. With Parasol Kirby, it blows away the poison. Ow. Why would you go and do that? Good. Still haven't found anything yet. And the parasol blows it all away. And there you have it. The last and final code cube. Good, it kind of saved me the trouble, I guess. Yup. That took care of the job. And I think I kind of did pretty poor. Oh well, I'm not worried about it one bit. The good news is we got Squishy from Dreamland, and we got 50 unique stickers. And we also have the false kanji. Oh nice, I'd say that's honestly a good thing. And now, Area 3. Yeah, Area 2 gave me some sort of trouble, but overall I did okay. Alrighty then, now this is getting strange, very strange if you ask me. Whoa, I think I'm gonna like how this level's gonna turn out. 
But I also gotta watch out though, because one false step and you're history. And as much as I like having poison around, I don't think I'm gonna need it for this one. Let's bring in the whip. Good. Although I wish I could figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do. Oh, wait. Now I can tell. Now let's put Mirror to work. I hope. Although I don't know if I could be right or not. Ow. And I've been taking a lot of damage? That's not right. Oh, I get it now. I figured it out. We just gotta wait for the item to throw, and then reflect. Like so. Oof, I'm sort of an idiot sometimes. I only guess this is a rare sticker? Boo! Now I wonder what I'm, what am I supposed to do with this? No, it's a weird thought, but I don't really... Wait a minute. Okay, so now we gotta follow it. Oh, great. Gotta move it. Move it, move it, move it. Okay, that's one. This gives us a metal. Two, this gives us a health boost. And three, this gives us the first code cube. Honestly, this dang thing is getting on my nerves. And I've had enough of that. It did its job, thankfully. Ah, comrade, we meet again. Let's see what we got. We have, what is this? Leaf Kirby, and for some odd reason, is now using Leaf Storm? Oh, this is new. And this one's a Dubois. And this surprises me because now it's starting to act like a plant Pokemon. What? Oh boy, now we're in for a fight. Keep bashing. Good. Now, when I do that, let's spark things up. Oh, I see, you have to charge up a battery. Now let's hope it works. And the battery will hit from up there, all the way down there, and it gives us code cube number two. Good. I'm still not used to solving puzzles of this magnitude. Don't bother. That, thankfully, is a relief. Oh boy, I'm not even gonna get whacked by that. And I need Spark. Or you can also use Beam. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Oh boy. Gotta follow it. Nice. So far, so good. And this will probably link to the battery up there, and it leads to a hidden passageway. Good. We're gonna need it. 
Wait. There you go. Now I gotta follow it. Nice. And we got all the cubes. If I would have been a second late, that would have sucked. Truthfully. And we got that taken care of. I'm out of here, truthfully. As much as I like the nighttime vibe, all of this is like one intense thrill ride. Well, at least I made it second place, so that's good enough for me. And we also got ourselves a rare pink ball kanji sticker. Along with Fireline from Superstar Ultra. And a music icon. That's cool. So from one area now to the next, and it's another lab base level. Good, I'm all the more for it. Let's do this. You know the really weird thing about levels like these is that they always have to build up this anticipation. You know you're in for what you expect, but honestly? You can pretty much guess. And now we're dealing with gears. And what better way to do it than with our trusted bot? Oh yeah, the other way. And it leads us this way. Okay, now we're gonna go first person shooter here. Or rather, 2D shooter. Good, I need a change of pace compared to last level. Missiles away and incoming. Yeah, so what do you expect? I'm just gonna have fun with this all the win. I like how these Jack Kirby levels is just really fun to have. And they make it interesting to boot. If it was like this for like every level, I would be very satisfied. And the charging for it is actually rather quick. Okay, so we got the sticker, that's the good news. And now we gotta move around. Yeah, also gotta, you also gotta pay attention, so that way you don't miss out on any code cues. And there's the first one, easy to spot. Some are easy to spot, others require you to look around. Okay, now we completed the first part, but... Amazing how the bot can be so useful. Okay, so... Down, up, up, down. Okay, I figured out the maze. Let's go. D-U-U-D, or rather, is it a dud? Okay, so we got the first part in, that's down. That nets us up nicely. Very good. That one's down. I'm not going down, I'm going up. And you can tell you'll mess up by those hats right there. Nice. That makes it better. Down, up, up, down. Hope I'm in the right. No, wait. And I screwed it up. Yeah. And when and you actually get to see it when you die. So, bear that in mind. Oh, the only reason why I did that on purpose is I made a mistake. So it's basically down, down, you go down, you then up, up again. Oh, this is confusing. I already figured out most of the part of the level anyway, but... Honestly, I didn't expect that. Okay, so we got the first part in. That's the good news. That's first. That's down, up, up, down. Yeah, but then they decide to throw a curveball with you somewhere down the line. And I mean, why would they want to do that? Why would they want to do that? Though, well, unless you've memorized the game well enough, then you know. And look, we get an extra life again. At least the game's a bit generous when it comes to extra lives. 
supposed to be in the middle. Right there. Oh, both of them will probably lead you to the exit. And there you go. Code Cube number two. Had I figured that out already in one go, I would have gotten it by now. Looks like we're ready to tackle the third part. Okie dokie, let's do this thing. And the only problem, very limited space. Okay, got this in, and now they're shooting up fast of lightning, and you can actually break them this time. Yeah, that's actually pretty surprising that you can break them now. Okay, good. Nice. All the way back, get the rare sticker. That's a relief. Apologies if you keep hearing that same sound over and over. Got it! Going down, down, then up again. Nice. And we got the last code cube. But why do I have this weird feeling that all this is just seems a bit too easy? Despite the fact I died once. Yeah, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes sometimes. And I don't leave one until I get like all the code cubes. All right, we're gonna be in for a fight. Thanks, comrade. Most helpful. Yeah, I figured. Back for seconds, huh? It's Cogs again. This time they're bringing in some really serious artillery. Nice, the main cannon destroyed. Gotta keep on blasting and blasting. And this one actually has like five cannons this time. Oh dear. Wow, got him down. That it? Really? Well, looks like it doesn't know when to give up. Cabula, we meet again. And I take it you still haven't learned your lesson the last time. And for anyone wondering, Cabula actually made an appearance in Superstar Ultra. And I think it had to be like with the other mini game that takes place after you beat the main game, King DDD's Revenge. Yeah. Yeah, try this on for size. Come on. Dude, you're not even trying. Uh-oh. He's gearing up to do something really desperate. Yeah. See ya. Maybe this time, do me a favor, stay down. That was a heck of a ride, but it was worth it. Nice, we even get a maximum tomato for our trouble. And we get to show off the leaf, Kirby. But that won't happen until the next area. Now let's see if we're able to hit first again. Afraid not. Nice. Now let's see the stickers we got. Scully from Mass Attack. A land kaji. Nice. And a rare Star Rod sticker from Nightmare in Dreamland. What, you're not acknowledging Kirby's adventure for the NES? Come on, you gotta at least acknowledge that, guys. And this is the last one. We just need to get three more and we unlock the EX for it. Let's go. And I think this one you need like seven cubes for the boss. And it looks like we're back for more. 
Although for this, I'm not going to need Leaf. I need a different power. One that can guarantee me a bit of victory. Archer. Nice. Ah, comrade. Thank you. But unfortunately, I need the better power-up. I appreciate that. Telepathos again? Fine, I'll just play a little game of archery with you. Charge it up. For Ness's sake, I'll be using ESP. Yeah, it makes you feel like Ness with that power. It makes it awesome to boot. Okay, so far so good. Oh yeah, now we're gonna be reprogramming a bot. Oh yeah, like so. Downward. And yeah, at least it learned a new trick this time. Nice. And I get a sticker. How appropriate. And... Nice. Oh yeah, now this is what makes this a bit, bit tricky because sometimes there are hazards there. And when there are hazards, that means you have to use your brain to figure things out. Right, and run, jump, 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 hit the slide, and hit this right here. Yeah, I figure they're gonna pull a trick. Hmm, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Yeah, I figured I messed it up. Let's try it again. Hmm. No! Not again! Oy vey! Okay, I think I've seen a figure out how this works. You have to hit the ES ESP right there. And then you do it. Now it works. And this will lead us to a robot. Robot, really? No code cue? Unless there is a reason why we need it to begin with. Whichever the case, I'll make sure to take advantage of it. And with Bomb, let's see how this, this will. Or, wi or will it? I still can't seem to figure this whole thing out. Oh, I see. With the bomb, all right, you can be able to go around. And that did not do well for us. Now it did. Okay, now I'm gonna have to figure this out. Oh, okay. Won't make it. We'll have to do it like this, then like that. Good. Yeah, you gotta get rid of any and all enemy hazards. That was just absolutely stupid. Fine, I'll just have to fire one shot. Nope, that didn't work either. Fine, I'll just have to fire three shots. None of that works! I mean, come on! Okay, now it actually worked this time. And at least that helped. And that gets us the first code cue. And it won't be the last. 
Good thing I got the roll, but I took the lower route. Buzz off, morons. I'll be taking Cutter and starting to shred. Hmm. Why do I have a bad feeling that none of this is gonna go right? I can feel it. Okay. Oh, I see. I think I'm starting to figure out how this works. No. No, I'm supposed to go around? Okay. Now we can be able to do this. At least we got the life, so that's a relief. Fine. Charge it up. Shoot it down. And this leads us to another hidden location. Okay. So here's what we do. So, what am I supposed to do here? No. That one. And it worked. Hey, in my honest opinion, that's at least better than nothing. And that makes Code Cube number two. And it looks like we can't be able to get that. Ah, well. Now what? Well, I gotta at least pay attention. And at least now we can shred these hammers. Well, that takes care of them both. Yeah, at this point, this is getting a bit, in, this is now things are getting it a bit tricky. Hmm. Okay, now we gotta continue as usual. Nice. Shred and slice. Nice. All right, good. There's the last one. And I'm not leaving without the last code cube. Oy vey. Wait, am I missing anything? Or am I supposed to get like a bomb? Oh, wait! That's why you need it. Now it all makes sense. Wrong direction! Now it works. There you go! And I thought I screwed up. But in all honesty, that went pretty well. A lot better than I thought. And at the rate things are going, I should be able to get everything by the time the game is over. Ah, well, close enough. Hi. Now we're healed up and ready to go. We have Human Kanji. Up next is Kirby from the Rainbow Curse. Nice! And now with it, we have access to the boss area. Like before, you need six. Good, we're doing fine. And let's also not forget this, the EX. Yeah, now let's take care of the EX stage. And yeah, there are three of them. So let's move it. Looks like we're gonna be in for quite a ride. 
And this is familiar. No, I'm being serious. This is actually familiar. Okay, we got the battery. Now let's do it. Yeah, from the Cormier race. Okay, battery's hitting here. And here. Wow. What a wreck that turned out to be. And there's a lot of bleeps and boops. Good. That ought to wipe you out. Very good. Faster. No, wait. That's a bit too fast, honestly. There you go. That should take care of them, at least. But honestly, these EX stages aren't that bad. Oh my god, why, oh why? If I lose my EX power, I am going to be mad. Well, not really, I'm not mad now, but I'm relieved. And that guy hit me? Really? Wow, what a loser. Seriously. Okay, so now we gotta find a way to move around without getting hit by the poison cloud. Yeah, this is gonna get messy. At least it didn't. Thankfully. Okay, so now we gotta go left, down. Yeah, you know the drill. Nice. Nasty evil vapors. Bad. I need it. Good. Good. All right, made it. Sorry, Mike, but as much as I like using you, I can't. And there's the hidden passage. Gotta go for it. Lucky! Bonkers 2.0, eh? So now, we're not only we got to fight, we all got to deal with this. You missed. That was just dumb, you know that? And even though no matter what you do, you kind of suck. And there's a reason why I chose Hammer in the first place. Yeah, so I got only got about a few seconds. Nice. Oh, whatever. I'll just go around. Excellent. Yeah, this is going to get real annoying real fast. Yeah, it got annoying because of all the poison clouds. Had I had the propeller bot, it would have been easier. It really would have been, to tell you the truth. But they're not only just testing my metal, they're also testing my sanity. Ow. And I'm gonna end up losing hammer, right? Nope, not happening. I ain't gonna be losing that, no way, no how. Okay, one, two, three. Very good. Well, at least that was worth it. Now let's head in there. Okay, that was good. And still no code cubes in sight. 
They're just trying to save me for the inevitable, is it? Oh, now this is familiar. No, music-wise. I'm not saying game-wise. I'm just saying music-wise. If you know music, you know I got good taste in music. But I gotta wonder. No, I need hammer. As much as I want to, I don't think I'll need it. Okay, so now there are two chests. All right, let's get in them. And it's time we get all a bit stone cold here. Keep going down. Come on. Whack this. Oh yeah, we gotta go left. This is gonna stink real bad. Yeah, even without that, it's still not enough. Yeah. Okay. Almost got it. Now let's get the two chests. Code cube one. And a sticker. Very good. And I think I'm almost like... Almost an hour, I guess? I don't know. Nope, nothing here. Fine, let's scan it and bring out the blades. Yeah, slash. Up. I just wait. I just wait, because honestly, what do you expect? Why did I do that? I wanted to get the extra life. Guess I wasn't fast enough. Oh, I see. It does like a multi-hitting move. Thank you. And thank you for hitting passageway. Now let's see where that's gonna lead. Okay, that kind of sucked. But honestly. Okay, it should hit the switch up top and with it, boom! Code cube number two. And since I don't need that anymore, yeah. That went well. Okay, we got the second cube. That was the easy part. Or you could just basically say most of it was like a conveyor belt level. Okay, so let's see what this is. This gives us beam, and this will give us ice. Ah, comrade, we meet again! I always say I'm comrade because truthfully, he's a fun comrade. Ah, Blocky 2.0. Ow, you like to whack people with it? You're being, like, real difficult to work with. Very difficult. And I get the third and final code cube. That means we got all of them for this level, and means we're set for the boss. That went pretty good, don't you think? Now let's hit it, and hit it at the max! Booyah! Hey! Honestly, that went pretty good. Though you have to expect to get a lot of these ones. And we got a rare Queen Sectonia sticker from Triple Deluxe. And this one's a comic book bandana waddle D. 
That's a huge name, and this one's a Robobot Armor Gear. Followed by Waddle D from Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. Nice we're seeing that, and the number zero. Though I wonder what all these stickers, what could it all mean? Like, what could they be good for? Yeah, now that we got them all, it's time for us to head to the boss and take them whatever's in our way. Yeah, it looks like we're getting ready. Ah, my friend, we meet again. Okay, so we have ninjas, sword, and jet. Which is the better option? Oh, the heck with it. I'll go ninja. I wanted to use hammer, but I think I've had hammer for long enough. Hmm? Never mind. It's time for us to take the fight to the fourth boss of the game. So let's get this show started, shall we? What have you done to Meta Knight? No, seriously, what have you done? You really are messing the head, Susie. Well, instead, you kind of make him look awesome, but at the same time, I don't want my rival to be turned into a mechanized robot. Ow. If I have to fight, I will. You leave me little choice. But in all seriousness, why would you even go and do this? One of our own comrades. And it's not playing around now because this now activated offensive force field. And anytime it unleashes energy from that force field, it can mean one thing, disaster. But sadly, that shield is fated not to last. Oh boy, now it's shooting missiles all over the place. Yeah, you can keep whacking as much as we want, but we're not gonna let you do that. And it's shooting beams all over the place. Oh, nuts. It actually summoned debris! Ow! I got turned into a pancake! Thanks! No matter what you do, I'm gonna save you, Meta Knight! That's a promise! And it's not holding back now. Forgive us, Meta Knight. I am very, very sorry for what I gotta do to you. But I gotta admit, this boss fight is rather challenging, to say the least.
Yeah, it's over. Sorry if I was a bit silent, but what can you do? Meta Knight, please forgive us. What can I honestly say? All of this has just now made me shudder. Shudder seeing Meta Knight go down like that, or rather, Mecha Knight. Four down, only one to go. And this one leads us to the big city, Rhythm Route. Yeah, it was a long one, but hey, it was worth it. The next area is open to us. But sadly, we're out of time, so we're going to end this episode here. That's it for this episode of Kirby Planet Robobot. Next time, we'll be tackling Area 5, Rhythm Route. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me, and I will see you guys next time. This is Mega Man NG, signing off. Peace out!